Hi there, my name is Miss Wynn. I teach AP Literature and Advanced English to just here at Roanoke High School. But maybe starting next year, I could also teach an Asian American Ethnic Studies course. Before I jump into the specifics of this course, I like to pose the question, how many of you knew that on your schedule, you could sign up for an African American Ethnic Studies course or a Mexican American Ethnic Studies course. If you didn't know, now you know. It's technically on your course catalog, so you could sign up for those courses. However, here at Rumrock High School, it hasn't quite been done yet because not enough students sign up for it or there's a, not a teacher to teach it, but it is a thing. It's a thing in Rumrock ISD. These courses are a thing in Texas. However, an Asian American Ethnic Studies course has not been a thing here in Texas, or frankly, the entire like Southern re region of the US. Maybe starting next fall, it can be a thing with your help. There's this organization, this nonprofit called Asian Texans for Justice, who have been working hard in order to get this course started in Texas. And so they've been collecting the curriculum, basically working with professionals from TEA and the State Board of Education to make this happen. And so essentially the State Board of Education has seen everything, looks pretty good, but they're requesting one last thing. For a school, for a teacher to pilot this course first. And guess who they contacted? They reached out to me and Roundwood High School, to y'all, to essentially pilot the first ever Asian American Ethnic Studies course here in Texas. I know, super exciting news. So with that being said, some more information about this course. It's a history course. It's going to be an elective course for now because it's a pilot course. It's the first of its kind. We're testing things out, but it will cover history, culture, economics, geography, politics, um, contributions to science and technology and society. Like there's so much, there's specific units that will cover including labor and migration, Japanese American incarceration, Asian American activism, and more. There's a document that I'll provide the link to that has information from professionals from that organization as well as UT Austin that has come up with potential units that will cover as well as resources and everything that you need to know about the course, it will be in this document. Speaking of professionals from UT, we are currently working with a professor from UT Austin, Mohit Mehta. Uh, he works for the Center of Asian American Studies and has agreed that during this first year of this Asian American Ethnic Studies course, that he would help co-teach this first year. And if you were considering getting acquainted more with the professionals from UT, this would be an opportunity. You have direct contact with a professor from UT. What is also really nice about partnering with UT Austin is that at the end of the year, you will receive a certificate of completion from them, which looks really good on your resume, right? And so if you want, you know, those resources and you want that expertise, and if you want that certificate, then talk to me. Okay. So for this pilot course to become a thing, I need 15 students to make it official. And if I get those 15 students, at least I'll begin teaching the course next fall. We'll have a great year full of insight and fun and projects and all that jazz. And the Asian Texans for Justice organization will take all that information, take the data testimonies, bring it up to the State Board of Education and ask, Hey, Kids loved it, they're learning, it's going really well. Can it be a class for all Texans? And of course they're gonna say yes, right? So they'll say yes, and then it will be available to all students in the state of Texas. And then maybe this could get it started for the Southern region of the United States as well. And you can help be a part of that. A couple of things to note about the course itself. It does not impact weighted GPA, so it will not be a boost to it. However, it won't like, you know, hurt it. So it's not going to count towards graduation requirements, but it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It 
not only will look good on your resume, but it will look good on your application essays to colleges, right? And you'll have an opportunity to write about your experiences, what you learned, how it has shaped your worldwide view. And also no one else has experienced this. So you're going to stand out. And plus I'm an English teacher. I can help you write that essay. I have a lot of experience with that. So if you are interested in this once in a lifetime opportunity to trailblaze this course, I have that document that I mentioned earlier about the PDF of all the information that UT Austin, as well as Asian Texans for Justice has put together for us. And I also will leave a link to an interest form. Even if you're somewhat interested, like you still wanna learn some more information, please fill out this form so I can contact you. Or if you know of a friend who's really interested in history or who may be interested in this course, like send them this form. I will be able to send you additional information. For example, I think we just set our date for our parent or informational night. And Mr. Meta is super excited. He's stoked. He like sent me an email saying that like, oh, I have bingo cards. I have, we're bringing food. We're bringing t-shirts. We're bringing prizes. So I can forward you that information about when and where this informational night can be so that you and your grown up can attend and make a well-informed decision whether or not you want to take this pilot course. A couple questions I often receive from students. Do you have to be Asian American to take this course? No, you just have to be interested, okay? As long as you want to take the course, as long as you have space for it, you can take it. I would gladly have you in my class. Another question I receive often would be, what does the coursework look like? Is it difficult? It's really kind of up to the class. It's new, right? So it's still being created. So you have influence in how it's shaped. I was talking to Professor Meta about this and like, what will it look like? And he's like, well, yeah, we have these units, but you can go about it however you'd like. With my background as a English teacher, I can bring my literature spin to it. He's the expert in the history side. He will bring that to the table. He's also getting his doctorate in graphic novels. So maybe we can do a graphic no novel study. It's really just kind of up to what we want. And knowing me, I love putting a creative spin onto everything. So I would hope it's going to be engaging, but not too stressful. If you have any questions, please send me an email, come by, I'm in room 1518. And yeah, I would love to chat with you more about this course. So the thing I like to end on when I'm giving this presentation is my personal experience. So growing up at my high school, I just took all your basic history classes, AP history courses, advanced history courses. And really, I don't think I learned that much Asian American history. However, when I became a student at UT my sophomore year, I decided to take this course, an Asian American Ethnic Studies course, without much thought. I was like, oh yes, it'll cover my history credit. But it turns out I, I fell in love with the content. Like I didn't expect much. I'm an English teacher, right? Not a history teacher. But it was engaging. It was fascinating to me. I learned so many new things about events and people that I hadn't before. And the class was so fascinating so affirming and validating that I almost considered changing my major. Like I went to info sessions. I'm like, maybe I don't want to be an English teacher. Um, but we know how that played out, right? Uh, I'm here now, but you know, 10 years later, this opportunity comes by. I can't let go of it. It feels like a sign, right? So I'm not, I'm going to hold on to it. And I hope that you'll be there with me as we embark in this new journey to all these possibilities. It's too rare of an opportunity to let go of. So if you're willing, let's make this happen. So again, fill out the interest form, contact me, and maybe together we'll be a part of Texas history. Okay, I wanna thank you for your time. Okay, thanks, bye.